don't know if I can put a flash on that. Maybe I can. Maybe I can. Maybe I need to go in my house. Or maybe I need to put a better light on. Hang on. Oh my god, I've disappeared. Hang on. Right, I'm in my car, guys. I might need to go inside for this to work. But oh no, that's better. You can see me now. Um, hi guys. Right, okay. I'm gonna quickly tag some people. Um, let me see who's around. I'm just gonna tag like a few people um, that are coming up just to kind of kick this into the group. Come on, say hi. I just want to share some thoughts that are on my mind tonight. Um, hey, 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 hey. Right, okay, let's get started because um, I have just um, pulled up from a class and I'm gonna go in and make a cup out and put my order in. But um, there's just a few things like that have been like whizzing around my little whizzy, rat, little whizzy mind while I was driving home um, this evening. Can you zoom right? Do I look like a ghost? Um, and the title of this live is Busy People, like too busy is a myth and busy people are the best at this business. Um, and what do I mean by that? So firstly, I um, hope everybody's well. I hope everybody's had a good day. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the sunshine wherever you are. Um, if you are watching this on replay, write replay in the comments. Can somebody let me know that I'm in group Good Sparkle and I'm not starting to ramble on um, in my customer group on my personal page because I've totally done that before. So if somebody could let me know that I am in group Good Sparkle, that would be amazing. Um, but what I wanted to talk to you about is there is a big misconception in what we do that it's just you post on facebook that's all right i'm in the right place okay i'm gonna try and like really because do you know what i need to do i need to have like a little because when i'm driving i think about what i want to say and then i come live and then i think oh i need to make sure i get my point across so there's a big misconception in what we do that you put a few posts on facebook and that's it and that's like running your business and I fully understand where that misconception comes from, from because social media is so prevalent in the world that we live in. But we are in a network marketing business. And so many people do the marketing bit and then don't do the networking bit and then don't understand why their business isn't going anywhere. And I fully understand why that is. But anyway, I just want to give you a few examples of why being too busy for this business like literally is the biggest myth in the world because like I have a really full busy life along with thousands and thousands of other Scentsy consultants and not only are busy people better at like org I don't mean like organizing the time I don't I'm not very like I am slightly organized but I'm slightly not I do wing a lot of stuff but anyway let me just like uh, let me like regroup for myself basically i've had a really busy few days right i'm generally busy anyway but like this this last couple of weeks have been extra busy i've been like away I've been up north we're back now for a day or so and then we're going away again at the weekend to a family christening but yes i've still posted on my social media yes i've still been going on my instagram stories yes i've still been posting in my group i did schedule a few bits because i know i was going to my mum and dad's but just as an example loads of people are like oh I'm too busy to work my business and then go about their day-to-day -day life and don't talk about Sensi and that is your opportunity to talk about your business you need to be having conversations so let me just give you a few examples so in the last 48 hours um I was up at my parents and I one of my mum and dad's neighbours who knew me growing up so they're old they're not quite as old as my mum and dad but they're older than me and they've got grown up children as well. And I was chatting to her and she's not on Facebook. Um, and she was like, oh, like, what are you doing for work now? And obviously I told her and um, I kicked myself. I didn't have a sample pack there, but I told her and Harry ran in and I was like, go get the fragrance flower off Nanny and Grandad's mantelpiece, which she did. And grabbed a hand cream because that's what I had there. And I told her about it and she, she was like, oh yeah, that smells lovely. So obviously... I've taken her phone number. She's got my phone number. I will be following up with her. Um, and I'll be sending her a sample pack. So that's a connection that I've made there. Um, oh, there's a couple others that I was just going to think about. Oh, yeah. So tonight, um, when we got back from being away, 
Um, the sample packs I'd left outside my house the other day, I saw one of my neighbours that's on the new development and I, we've got a couple of mutual friends and I kind of know her, like to say hello to, but I don't know her. Um, and she came and grabbed me and was like, oh, Laura, I, like, I got one of your sample packs because um, I put in there about the borrow bag. Any chance I could like smell your borrow bag? And I was like, yeah, 100%. So tonight, like I said, been on the motorway for five and a half hours, was in the house for a couple of hours, sorted the kids, Finn went to sleep. I was going back out to my class. Um, not, again, not, this is nothing to do with social media. Um, this is from a sample pack. I dropped off my whiff bag, ran the corner to her. She's going to smell it for a couple of days. I've told her I need it back on Friday because it's coming away with me. Um, and she's just messaged me and said, oh my God, like loving all the smells. So she's got, like, likely going to place an order. And then tonight I went to my class and um, I used to go to these classes about six years ago and then I stopped and then it was COVID and stuff. Anyway, so I've gone back. And then this lovely girl, Lindsay, that used to come all the time um, is there. And I was chatting to her and again, she's not on Facebook. And she, I just, like, I just started in network marketing actually when I knew her. So she actually said to me, "Was I still with my? Like, are you still doing the skincare stuff I used to do?" And I was like, "No, I'm not with them anymore. I started with Sensi. Have you heard of it?" And she was like, "Oh yeah, I've seen a bit about Sensi, but I've never tried it." Um, and I told her that like Dan and I do it as like a full time business now, and she was like, "Oh my god, that's amazing!" Da, da, da. And we were joking because we got told up we were in a boxing class, and we got told off for talking, and I wasn't really listening to what he told us to do. <laughs> Um, and I said, oh, it's just a thing. Like, ever since I've been at school, I've always been told off for talking too much. And I said to her, I said, it's paid off, though. I said, because I just talk about Sensi all day now, and it, it pays my bills, kind of thing. And we were laughing about it. Anyway, so we've exchanged numbers, and I'm going to send her the link on WhatsApp, and I will take her a sample pack along to the next class I go to, or the borrow bag, or whatever. So that's three examples in the last two days of building connections talking to people about my business, not being hard sell, not being spammy, not pushing it in people's faces, just having conversations with people in my day-to-day -day life. And that is building my business. And none of that is to do with social media. Um, and I think it's really, really easy in the world that we live in to get so wrapped up in Facebook and so wrapped up in Instagram. And like, don't get me wrong, please don't misunderstand what I'm saying. I fully understand it's a massive part of what we do but it's not the only part of what we do. And it's really easy to get so wrapped up in like, oh my God, I need to post all day. And then you're looking at your phone and you're checking your notifications. And it's social media can become all consuming and can become actually a real negative because you literally get so wrapped up in it and you stop. Like people, and as well from like an attraction marketing point of view about pe people don't want to join a business where you're tied to your phone for 24 hours a day. I certainly wouldn't and I also know that I've been that person and it became more consuming and you have to make like put your phone down and go and live your life and talk about Scentsy while you're doing it and then that and, and it's all part of it so though those were just a few examples and it's just really to explain how you know marketing network marketing marketing's one side but the networking and building relationships and if we've said it once like we've said it a million bazillion times we are a relationship building business it's about building relationships building connections with people building trust them getting to know you as a person them getting to trust you and you know build those relationships so anyway that was just um an example guys of like don't just get so wrapped up in social media and don't let being too busy be a reason to not work your business. Like if you are a busy person and you are going out and you are having conversations with people, have conversations about Sensi. Um, so yeah, anyway, I hope that helps. I am gonna go in, have a cuppa, watch Love Island and put my order in. Um, but yeah, so I just hope that was helpful because especially as we're coming out of like the lockdown world, um, you know, ask people about having garden parties. Ask people about, like, I also understand, because I'm, how can I put this? I'm I've exper I'm experiencing it just like you guys are. Like, I'll be honest, I thought, oh, we're coming out of lockdown. Everyone's going to want to book a party. And people are not. And I do have a couple of parties booked in. Um, but I also fully understand that some people are quite tentative about starting to mix again. And I fully 
um, appreciate and understand every single person is going to feel different about as, we, as the world opens up again. But I do also think as we come towards Christmas and we go in, you know, like I do, I do think it will, it will start to come. But, but that doesn't mean you should stop asking people if they want a party because you never know. Because, but if people want to have garden parties, if people want to borrow your bag and they're having small gatherings with their friends and they take the smells like there's, oh, my light's going off. I don't actually, how bad is that? I don't actually know how to turn it on. Oh my God, I don't know how to put my light on. Ah! Oh guys, how funny is that, right? If I open the door. How bad is that? I don't even know how to... I literally don't know how to work this car. It's quite funny. Um, but anyway, I am going to go in now, guys. So I hope that was helpful. Tag your teams. Um, I am actually going to download this and upload it to YouTube as well because I feel like that's actually hilarious. Not done an actual party yet, it's joined in lockdown, but so excited to pack. Exactly. Jess, honestly, there is nothing... Not nothing better, but it's a different experience. Like, I absolutely love being in a room with people. It's not hard sell again. Literally, the products just sell themselves. Um, people, like, literally, they're happy. They're, you know, they've just got, they've got the girls around. They're having a little whiff of the whiff pots. They get, they start to get, like, their little collection in the corner. And then someone else goes, like, oh, have you got coconut lemongrass? And they're like, oh, no, that's mine. And it, it's just, I love, I love partying. I literally can't wait to start partying again. Honestly, when I started... That first run up to Christmas season, I was doing two or three parties a week. Like that was how I built my business on partying. Um, oh, it is just amazing. Right, I'm going to go have a cup of guys. I hope it was helpful. I am going to share this as well. Um, and I am going to be, I'm just trying to think what day it is. It's Wednesday. I am going to be back tomorrow night with Lisa and Laura and we're going to do a training. I haven't shared this link yet again. I've been busy, but it's fine. Um, we're going to do a Zoom on let's earn the incentive. Let's get you all on that ship. So details to follow on that in the morning. Right. Loads of love, guys. Speak to you soon. Bye.